Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. So tonight we're going to be talking about eight ideas to find the perfect gift whiskey. Maybe it's a wedding, it's summertime, we've been in COVID for a long time now, people are finally coming out and getting vaccinated and people are scheduling weddings. Maybe somebody's graduating from college, maybe somebody's retiring. Whatever the case may be, if you have a buddy, you have a friend, a special someone, how are you going to pick out the best whiskey gift for them? Now, you could buy them glasses, you can buy them decanters, you can buy them other stuff. We're not talking about that. Those are great gifts. We're going to leave those to other people. We're going to have you pick out the best whiskey to buy for your friend, loved one, whatever the case may be. Now, there's some things to keep in mind when we start talking about this. First, you want to buy a gift that kind of shows that you know them, that you know what they like and they don't like. Two, it's got to be within a certain price range. Not everything is affordable for everybody. And no matter how much you like somebody, you can't get them a gift that's outside your budget. The next thing to consider when, especially with whiskey and the, the world of bourbon in which we live, is rarity. Some things are just not possible where you live. And some of the things on the list that I'm going to talk about today aren't accessible to you, but they are to me, and they might be accessible to somebody else and not. So if you say, well, oh, that particular one is not accessible near me, find something else on the list. Also, the occasion matters. If somebody is, if you're, if it's your best friend getting married, you're going to spend more on a gift than if it's your fifth cousin who is graduating college. But presentation matters too, it's a gift. So does it come in like a really cool looking bottle? Does the person you're giving the gift to recognize that the particular bourbon that you picked out or the particular whiskey that you picked out for them, that it's special? If they don't realize it's that special, then there's a story that you're gonna have to tell to help them understand the specialness of the gift you've given them. And maybe that's not really something that, that works for the particular situation. So you have to kind of take all of these things together when you're trying to pick out whiskey for someone as a gift. All that said, why, am I, why did I choose to make this video? Well, I'm going to show you a bottle. This bottle, it's Jefferson's Ocean Aged at Sea, uh, cask strength. This was the first whiskey that was ever sent to me as a gift. There's a company that I, I do work with, and when I was getting married, they sent me this bottle. And that it was just the most amazing. At the time, it was probably the nicest bottle of bourbon that I had. And it definitely, definitely helped me grow into the bourbon world more to have something that was at what I, at the time, what I thought was very, very good. And it's not bad. It's a great bottle. It's a great gift. Actually, we're going to talk about this particular one because there's some reasons why you might want to get somebody this kind of bottle for a gift. So even though the items in this list aren't necessarily ordered by price, they kind of are. The bottom of the list, the ones we're going to start with are kind of the cheaper options, the less expensive options, and the less expensive concepts or ideas to, to help you find those, those bottles that fit the gift that you're trying to give. And then toward the, toward the end of the list, the, toward the end of the video, we're getting into the more expensive or the harder to find options. So you have to kind of figure out for this occasion, this person that you're buying the gift, where on that spectrum they fall as far as what you're willing to spend and also obviously what your budget is. Number one on this list is to find a whiskey or a bourbon that you shared together. It could be almost like an inside joke between the two of you. Maybe it was Wild Turkey 101 or Buffalo Trace or maybe it was Jim Beam, whatever. It can be even a cheap bottle, but it's in some ways it's the thought that counts, right? And to Remind that person that, you know, hey, this is a, something we bonded over. This was part of our friendship and our story. Even though it's not an expensive bottle, it's actually kind of a really good gift. And I don't think anybody's going to look down on getting a gift that reminds them of the relationship you have with that person. And that it's not about the whiskey, but it's about the relationships that we have with other people around whiskey. So the next range of whiskeys that we're going to talk about we're talking about kind of the entry level, nicer sipping bourbons. Now I know some people they're sipping bourbon, they're $60, $70 a bottle. I know other people that are $20 a bottle. In this category, we're talking Eagle Rare, if you can get your hands on it around $40, Four Roses Single Barrel around $40. And this is even on the cheaper side of it, but it's a really good sipping bourbon, which is 1792 small batch. So again, we're talking right around 30 to 40, $42. But these are still some really good bourbons. Some are harder to find depending on where you live, 
but if you can get your hand on an Eagle Rare for $42, it makes an amazing gift. If you can't, Four Roses Single Barrel is pretty universally available, as well as 1792 Small Batch. Find something in that range that is a, a good entry-level sipper. It's a respectable gift, and nobody is going to look down at getting a bottle of Four Roses Single Barrel or Eagle Rare as a gift. These are amazing gifts. Now, number three is to find a single barrel or store pick of some kind of a product that they like. So if they like Buffalo Trace, go find a Buffalo Trace store pick or a single barrel pour of Buffalo Trace or Eagle Rare or Knob Creek, whatever it is that they like, Wild Turkey, find a store pick of that product. It's not gonna be exactly the same as the normal flavor profile that they're used to, but one is it shows that you know what they like, Two, you were able to get a hold of something that they probably never had because it's and it's a unique barrel. So again, it's a little bit of a unique gift. And in many cases, these store picks can be found without having to break the bank. I mean, they're, you know, between 30 and 40, $50, depending on the brand and find one that matches something that they like. And it's a, it's a really good gift idea. So next is number four. And that's really kind of, we're, we're taking a step up here. We've said this This is somebody that was really important to me or my budget or the occasion, whatever it is, means that I need to spend a little bit more. We're talking in the $50 to $70 range. You can start with something like a Maker's Mark 101. comes in a really pretty red box. Or you can just get like a Maker's 46 cast strength or even a Maker's uh, cast strength. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is another great place to go. It's a little more on the spendy side. You're talking in the $60s and uh, $70 range but it's a high proof, always tastes good, <laughs> usually tastes good. Uh, they're done, they're pretty well done and it's a unique experience. It makes a pretty good gift. Now these are a little bit harder to find, but here in Virginia, I can get these for retail if I'm willing to go to a store slightly before opening or do a little bit of, put a little bit of effort into hunting. I can find one fairly easily. Next up is Baker 7 from Jim Beam. A seven year, 107 proof bourbon, runs around $55, $65. It tastes really good. It's got a kind of, kind of a cool bottle, a little bit of a cool look to it. And it's readily available all over the place. Now this particular one, even though it's a seven year, this particular one is eight years and eight months. So it's well beyond seven years. And it's actually what I'm drinking tonight. So it's, it's a great bottle. And lastly, Knob Creek 12 year. Now other things in this category would be like a Henry McKenna bottled and bond 10 year, a little harder to find. Retail's not too expensive, but if uh, you pay a little markup on it, then it's gonna cost a little bit more. Old Forcer 1920, you can get that all day long, no problem. But these are all just a little bit of a step above. Buy something you think they're gonna enjoy based on their preferences. So idea number five is to find a bourbon or a whiskey that has a story. Now, whether that's a story of, uh, that you shared with that person or it's a story that meant something to you or it's just the brand has a good story or a cool story or it makes it kind of unique. But that's where the Jefferson's Ocean Deja C comes into play where, you know, they take the bourbon and they put it in the barrels and they put them on ships and they drive them, you know, they, they sail all around the world and then they come back and it's this, it's this interesting story about how they age the bourbon. It's a very unique story. The next bottle that kind of is like that, that tells kind of an interesting story, is the Booker's line. Every bottle of Booker's is named after somebody Booker no knew or loved or whatever. And, you know, there's this history to it. They come in this very kind of unique, pretty wood box. They've got this like interesting like story label and comes with a little card. So again, it makes a really good gift if you're willing to, you know, obviously pay that kind of money. Now, most of you out there are bourbon fans. You guys come to the channel to listen to me talk about bourbon. However, when you're buying somebody a gift, sometimes you want to give them something a little bit different. If they're just a huge bourbon guy, maybe buying them a bourbon, especially if you can't find something special or unique or different than what they just already have on their shelf, is to go into a different realm of whiskey. So maybe they've not gotten into rye yet. Maybe rye are new to them. Some rye that I think are, are really, really good. If you want something that's really accessible as a rye to a bourbon person, the Sacamore Spirit Double Oak is hard to beat. This thing is so sweet and delicious for a rye. If the person you're giving a gift to is a little bit of a proof hound, they like that higher proof stuff, man, go with the Alberta Premium Cast Strength Rye. This thing's running in at 132 proof and drinks really, really good. And lastly is the Peerless Small Batch. Beautiful bottle, just an amazingly gorgeous bottle to give to somebody as a gift. 
the, the rye whiskey in it, pretty solid too. It's a little expensive at $100, but still, you're giving a gift to somebody. If that's in your price range, these three options are all uh, ways to give them something that's a little, you know, if it's a bourbon person, that gets them something a little bit out of their comfort zone and exposes them to some really, really good rise. Now, another area you can ex help expand their whiskey taste is to jump into Japanese whiskey. Japanese whiskeys are really, really good. If you have not taken a chance to get into that world just a little bit, dip your toes in it. Don't go crazy because it is it is an expensive area to get into. It's, it's as bad as scotch. These two are allocated in Virginia, a little hard to find. This one is not. This one is available all day long. It's the Harazaki Small Batch. It comes in this beautiful like blue box with like like gilded silver, you know, scroll work, uh, Japanese scroll work on it. It's a beautiful, beautiful box. I think it ran me about $50. Very good flavor, light and floral. This one is a Yamazaki 12 year. This is can be a relatively hard to find item, but again, it makes a great gift. Habiki Harmony. Now this comes, this one too, it comes in this beautiful box. And then the bottle itself is just this gorgeous, gorgeous bottle and it tastes really, really good. Continuing on with the concept of expanding their whiskey line, if they've got everything in the bourbon world and you wanna expose them to something different, another route to go is Irish whiskey. And first one of those that I would recommend is the Red Breast 12. It's just a classic, it's kind of like the standard best for most people when they talk about Irish whiskeys. It's very consistent at 12 year. Then the next uh, line that I'd recommend is the Spot line. I like all the spots. There's a green spot, which runs around 50, 55, a yellow spot, which is more around 95, and then a red spot, which is like 120. They're all very, very good. They're all good examples of Irish whiskey. So whatever the case may be, if you're trying to get somebody a gift to expand their whiskey world, if they've got all the bourbons in the world, get them an Irish, get them a Japanese or a rye or something different. And at the very worst case, even if they don't like it, it'll always be a funny story between you being like, hey, remember that one time, like I'm the bourbon guy and remember you bought me a Japanese whiskey yeah that was hilarious thanks dude <laughs> if you're buying somebody in the whiskey world something and this kind of goes in the same vein as the other one if it's a bourbon person and they've got everything out there maybe they're not a bourbon person at all kind of dabble in whiskey whether it's scotch or something else nobody is ever going to look down on the gift of a good single malt scotch whether it's a Macallan a Glenfiddich a Glenlivet a Lagavulin whatever you think they might like based on what you know about them flavor wise, get them a good bottle of scotch, spend anywhere from 60 to $100. Now, if you've got money for days or the person you're buying a gift for is just that incredibly special to you or the occasion is such that they just deserve or the combination of everything means you're going to really hunt and find that hard to find bottle. You know, a Stag Junior, an E.H. Taylor single barrel or small batch, or perhaps where you live, a Blanton's is that hard to find, or a Weller 107 is that hard to find. If the bottle that you're giving them is kind of rare in some way, and you can help convey that rarity and the specialness of that bottle, it's going to make them feel feel the love from you for the gift that you've given them and the effort that you've put into it. So these were just eight ideas to help you find that special bottle for that someone you're getting a gift for this summer. Whether it's a less expensive bottle that you bonded over or it's a more expensive, super rare, hard to find unicorn. Whatever the case may be, good luck in your whiskey hunting and giving them the gift that's going to help them feel the love that you have for them on this special occasion for them. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Follow us on Instagram at The Whiskey Row. Support us on patreon.com slash whiskey row if you want to do that. And until next time, find a bottom.